Imagine the universe not just as a vast expanse of unexplored wonder, but also a potential battleground against autonomous robotic probes, designed with a singular terrifying purpose to eliminate any perceived threat to their creators. This is the crux of the Berserker Hypothesis. The idea springs from the mind of science fiction writer Fred Saberhagen, who introduced the world to his Berserker series in the mid-20th century. In these stories, Saberhagen crafted a narrative around self-replicating robots, Berserkers, that roam the cosmos with a deadly directive to exterminate all life. Though born from the realm of fiction, this hypothesis isn't just a thrilling plot element. It serves as a thought experiment highlighting a potential, albeit speculative, risk posed by advanced extraterrestrial technologies. This chilling scenario isn't just a tale of fiction, it raises profound questions about our search for extraterrestrial intelligence and our own future in space exploration. The seeds of the Berserker Hypothesis were planted in the fertile ground of mid-20th century science fiction. During this era, as the world grappled with the implications of burgeoning technologies and the Cold War, a particular narrative emerged that would echo through the ages. This narrative was profoundly influenced by Fred Saberhagen, an American writer whose work would encapsulate the collective anxieties and predictions surrounding autonomous warfare and artificial intelligence. Saberhagen introduced the concept of the Berserkers in his 1967 novel, illustrating autonomous war machines programmed to destroy all life. These machines, named after the fierce Norse warriors, represented a doomsday weapon, devoid of human control and empathy, reflecting a deep-seated fear of what might happen if technology slipped beyond our moral compass and control. But why did this idea resonate so strongly? The time was ripe with technological advancements that promised to reshape the world. Space exploration was advancing, computers were emerging, and with them, the first hints of what we now call artificial intelligence. Saberhagen's berserkers became a symbol of potential technological overreach, machines that could decide autonomously to end humanity. These themes are not just relics of the past. They mirror modern debates in technology and ethics, especially concerning autonomous weapons and AI in military applications. The discussions around AI today, whether it be in unmanned drones or in decision-making algorithms, echo the fears that Saberhagen's berserkers stirred. They force us to confront uncomfortable questions. Can we control the very technologies we create? What happens if and when these technologies begin to operate beyond our ethical guidelines? Thus, the berserker hypothesis serves as more than just a thrilling science fiction concept. It is a framework through which we view our technological trajectory and its potential pitfalls. From fictional tales to scientific debates, the Berserker Hypothesis has evolved, mirroring our own technological advancements. Imagine a galaxy patrolled by relentless robotic sentinels programmed to extinguish emerging civilizations. These are not mere figments of science fiction. They are what we call Berserker probes, a theoretical construct that could exist within the vast expanses of our universe. The concept of berserkers hinges on the notion of self-replication. These probes, once created, could utilize the raw materials found in space, such as metals from asteroids or comets, to forge copies of themselves. This self-replicating ability is key to their potential spread across the galaxy, allowing them to multiply exponentially without direct oversight from their creators. Now, how would these cosmic machines detect civilizations? Berserkers might be equipped with sophisticated sensors capable of picking up on various signals or anomalies that indicate technological activity. This could range from radio waves emitted by planets to artificial light spilling into space and even the atmospheric changes caused by industrial processes. Once a target is identified, the strategy shifts to engagement. Engagement could take multiple forms. The most direct method might involve deploying an array of weapons, from lasers to particle beams, designed to disable or destroy technology and infrastructure effectively setting a civilization back or wiping it out entirely. Alternatively, berserkers could employ subtler methods, such as introducing disruptive software into digital networks, or even manipulating natural events to create catastrophic outcomes. 
The idea of an army of self-replicating robots might seem far-fetched, but it's grounded in our understanding of technology's potential trajectory. As we advance, the capability to create machines that can build and sustain themselves independently becomes less a question of if and more a question of when. Such a scenario might sound like the plot of a blockbuster movie, yet it underscores very real scientific and ethical considerations. What responsibilities do we hold as creators? And how do we prepare for the possibility of encountering not just life, but the machinery of life in the cosmos? How does the Berserker hypothesis influence our quest to find alien life? This rather unsettling proposition reshapes our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it, particularly impacting the search for extraterrestrial intelligence or SETI. SETI has traditionally been about listening and occasionally broadcasting signals into the void in hopes of catching the attention of extraterrestrial civilizations. The underlying assumption has always been that any contact would be benign or at least neutral. Enter the Berserker Hypothesis, which suggests that some extraterrestrial forces might not only be hostile but actively seeking to suppress other intelligent life forms. This grim outlook forces us to reassess our strategies in both detecting and announcing our presence to the cosmos. Firstly, the prospect of encountering a berserker-like entity could lead to more cautious approaches in how we send signals into space. The age-old practice of broadcasting powerful, unencrypted messages about Earth's location and its inhabitants might seem akin to lighting a beacon in a dark forest, not knowing who might be watching. This could shift our strategies towards more passive techniques, focusing on listening rather than transmitting, reducing the chances of drawing unwanted attention. Moreover, the hypothesis impacts how we plan missions and explore distant planets. If there exists a threat of aggressive, autonomous machines designed to thwart the rise of competing civilizations, we might need to rethink our exploration tactics. This could mean deploying more discreet, smaller-scale probes, or even developing countermeasures against potential berserker probes that could be lurking near Earth or along our path to other star systems. The implications extend to international and even interstellar policymaking. How nations and potentially planets align themselves in terms of defense, technology sharing, and space traffic control could be heavily influenced by the shared threat of a berserker encounter. In essence, while the Berserker hypothesis adds a layer of complexity and caution to our spacefaring endeavours, it also injects a vital dose of prudence into our interactions with the unknown. The search for life beyond Earth could be a double-edged sword, inviting not just contact, but potential conflict. If the threat of Berserkers is real, how might humanity prepare or defend itself? The concept of berserkers autonomous, self-replicating machines programmed to destroy all life forms they encounter sounds like a plot lifted straight from science fiction. Yet, if such a threat were to be taken seriously, the strategies for defense and prevention would need to be robust, multi-layered and highly innovative. At the forefront of these defense strategies would be the development of advanced monitoring systems. Picture a network of satellites equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and AI, orbiting Earth and scattered throughout our solar system. These would serve as our early warning system, designed to detect unusual signals or entities in space that deviate from known patterns or objects. Such systems could provide crucial lead time to mount a defense or initiate countermeasures. Speaking of countermeasures, Another theoretical approach could involve the creation of counter-autonomous systems. These would essentially be anti-berserker machines, intelligent autonomous robots designed to intercept and neutralize berserkers before they can reach their targets. Think of them as celestial bodyguards, armed not with weapons of destruction, but with tools and strategies for containment and disarmament. Collaboration on an international scale would also be pivotal. No single nation could hope to monitor and defend against an extraterrestrial threat alone. An international coalition could pool resources, share intelligence and coordinate defence strategies. This would not only enhance the capabilities of individual countries, but also foster a unified approach to planetary defence. Moreover, there's a philosophical dimension to consider. How much of our resources and intellect should be devoted to a hypothetical threat? 
developing technologies that could also benefit other areas like space exploration and Earth's defense against more conventional threats such as asteroids might be a more pragmatic approach. This way, investments in defense technology could have dual purposes, benefiting humanity irrespective of whether the berserker threat materializes. While preparing for a threat that may never emerge, we tread the fine line between caution and paranoia. The berserker hypothesis invites us to look inwards and forwards in our cosmic journey. As we've explored today, the Berserker Hypothesis isn't just a thrilling plot from science fiction, it's a serious scientific proposition that challenges our assumptions about the universe and the future of intelligent life. Originating from the imaginative realms of sci-fi literature, this hypothesis proposes that autonomous, self-replicating machines could traverse the cosmos, targeting life forms they encounter. These theoretical entities, known as berserkers, would operate under a simple yet profound logic to preemptively eliminate potential threats to their existence. The implications for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, and our broader space exploration efforts are profound. Could our signals into the void provoke an attack from such autonomous sentinels? In discussing potential defense strategies, we touch upon the broader philosophical and practical aspects of dealing with advanced intelligences, whether human-made or alien. Reflecting on the berserker hypothesis teaches us about the dual nature of intelligence. It's a tool and a weapon, a beacon of progress and a potential harbinger of destruction. As we reach out into the cosmos, we must also guard the sanctity of life, perhaps even from the life we create.